Uh, we will now pass it on to Zoe, who will talk about community engagement with San Rafael High School. Hi, everyone. I'm so excited to be here speaking with all of you today. My name is Zoe Gustafson, and I'm a sophomore and a biology major. This semester, I was lucky enough to take two service learning classes. Um, I took healthcare ethics and equity and cultural anthropology. My community partner this semester was San Rafael High's Academic Aid for Student Athletes. Um, San Rafael High has a really diverse student body with about a 70% um, Hispanic population. The program that I worked with is an after school study hall for the student athletes. Um, as a student athlete here at Dominican, I was really passionate about helping and starting this program. Um, the program is designed to carve out time for athletes to do their schoolwork and to offer Dominican service learners the experience to provide tutoring and support. I also participated in the Cine Equal Tour program, which is another pilot program for San Rafael High students. Um, many of them who participated in the program were recently arrived immigrants. Um, during the program, we usually watched a film about Hispanic and Latinx communities fighting injustice in the United States. Um, and then we would hold a discussion group with the students about the film in relation to their lives. One Center of Fall High student shared a really profound story with me. Recently for Guatemalan Independence Day, a lot of the residents in the Canal neighborhood were celebrating and partying in the streets. Unfortunately, this large celebration led to violence and several res residents were injured. The point of the story is that the student was warned by his parents not to go to a celebration like that where violence could occur. But I wouldn't imagine being warned by my own parents not to go to a public celebration like the, that one because I could be hurt. But this is our same neighborhood. What is going on? What is the difference between me and that one student? Latina feminist scholar Adia Isaiah Diaz calls this acknowledgement of other stories in daily experience lo cotidiano. In practice, lo cotidiano is to take the daily life of everyday people, work, school, money, food, and analyze how it is being influenced by systemic oppression and societal norms. Without actively listening to the students' stories, I would not have realized how sheltered I am from the dangers that the residents of the Canal neighborhood experience. Through working with my community partner, I've been able to see San Rafael through a different lens. I have finally started to understand the inequities that San Rafael High students face. The Cine Equal Tour program was facilitated by Dominican's very own professor, Lucia Leon, who did an incredible job with the program. And she did an incredible job making everyone feel welcome. From her, I learned the practice of being sensitive to creating a positive experience for others, even if they are mundane experiences, because each experience does add up. While working with the Academic Aid for Student Athletes program at San Rafael High, I was able to get a closer look at the football team and their culture, along with their low cotidiano. By the end of the semester, I noted that the football team has a tight-knit camaraderie despite its diversity. Although it seemed like there were cliques formed around the students' race and ethnic identities, everyone respected the seniority in the team. And without feeling like the cliques were segregating, the atmosphere of the team was in celebration of the shared cultural wealth that each person brought. As an athlete myself, I observe, I believe that I observed a good model for strengthening the bond between teammates there. This semester, I have learned to apply different theories and practices from my two service learning courses in my interactions with others. I've learned how to identify structural inequities as well as appreciate community cultural wealth coming from people navigating these inequities. And that is all thanks to San Rafael High and the time that I spent working with the students and the staff and there. I'm very grateful for my time spent with the programs this semester, and I know that it will benefit me for many years to come. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Zoe. It's so nice to hear that you had such a great experience working with the high school students. And it's